Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. 69. Little Z. Doggy style! (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) Episode 69. Pop it one. No, I was Say it. Not Say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Nah. It can't start it like that. What about the people on the fence? Uh, on what fence? The listening fence. Oh, the listening fence. Wait, you've, fence. Done, you've done I? it on a fence? Oh. How'd that work? <laughs> Holy moly. Should All we right. start off episode 69 by everyone talking about their worst sexual experience? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm good. You <laughs> can, no, imagine you, If you that. want to, Zach, you can. Oh, uh, not the worst, um, but the the worst that is also funny and w- I'm willing to share. But that? I've talked about it before. It's when I fell off the bed oh, and really yeah. hurt, oh, my, yeah. hurt my side. Oh, yeah, I, I landed on some shelves. How did that happen? Some wooden, there were some wooden hexagon-shaped shelves. No, but how did you fall off? On the floor. Wait, oh, you, guess. you are not getting wild. I fall off every time. You get disorientated in the How? dark. No, you get. I get that. You're moving around. Yeah, yeah. Like the na- the G forces, you know, sort of blood rush to the head. Like a washing machine goes like this, <laughs> and it starts moving across the room. That's oh, sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. hasn't even walked in yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, she actually said, "Get off me, you pig!" and pushed me. Off the bed. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you flew off her because you respect her so much and flew off the bed and landed on a shelf. Yeah, so much respect. Respect. <laughs> um. 69 facts. I've got some if you want to hear them. <laughs> Guys, it's episode 69. We we never thought we'd make it. Um, the fastest we've ever devolved into just weird content. Yeah, it's, Ooh, a, it's yeah. usually pretty quick. Check the timer on that. I don't know. I, I think, think it was instant because it was in the intro. It was in the <laughs> yeah, intro. Yeah, you said 69. Yeah, right. so what's your 69 facts, Jackson? All right. So I thought I'd give us some non-sex stuff. It's the atomic we- number of thulium. Sorry, should we explain <laughs> what 69ing is for anyone that no. doesn't If you know? don't know, don't look it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, if you know, you know. If you don't know, don't learn from the underdog. D- does he know? <laughs> yeah, don't get the birds and the bees talk or some shit Well, you, you and Jordan know. have been practicing all week, you yeah, said. Yeah, so. well, yeah. Um, they, maybe they should learn from us. I prefer yes. Jackson's atomic yeah. fact. His so how's the atomic fact? The periodic table Yeah, knowledge. so it's thulium. Is that cor- pronounced correctly? I don't know. Thulium? Yeah. What's that for? The atomic number. No, but what does it do? Thulium. Right, the next fact. What, what does thulium what? do? It's a lanthanide. Oh, okay. It's a what? Kinda, I don't have his facts here. I don't understand them. Kind of okay. sounds sexy though. Thulium. Yeah. It's thulium. like a Lord That's of the That's what rings he said when he hit the floor of the shelves. <laughs> thulium. Oh, thulium. <laughs> That's actually how I talk dirty. Oh, thulium. barium. Hydrogen. Oh, thulium. Oxygen. What's the next fact? <laughs> that was... Um, <laughs> Now, this one, I don't really know what it means. I'm feeling a bit wacky today, guys. <laughs> yeah. Just a free no, curse. I really, the part where you said, do you want to share your worst sexual experience really <laughs> didn't clue me in. Thanks for clarifying, Zach. Um, in decimals, 69 is the only natural number whose square, 4,761, four and cube, <laughs> 3,28,509, use every number from digit 0 to 9 wow. exactly once. That's wow. actually a sick fact. That's a good but fact. But it was so specific. I feel like you could do that with any number. No, you can't. It's the only number you can no, do. No, no, no. But Wait, if you came up with like, okay, okay. So oh, three is the only number that when you times it by oh, yeah. one, two, three, four. Like, no, but if you no, square no, if it and cube it, do you know what squaring a number yeah. is? Yeah. And cubing and a yeah, number is three into yeah, it. Yeah, so if you do that, then every number from zero to nine appears in it only once oh, in the wow. answer. Surely you could do that with like a big number. No, but then they'll appear more than once. Yeah. Oh, that is sick. It's like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy. Yeah, of numbers. That sentence. Yeah, yeah. Of numbers. Thanks. That's that's nice. That is dope. And one mm. more. This one, I don't even know what any of these words mean. The Messier object is M69 is oh. magnitude nine global cluster in stomp constellation Sagittarius. So Wait, oh, global it, cluster no, in constellation Sagittarius. What does this mean, Peter? That's fucking crazy. It's, it's uh, what's it called? It's like a planetary thing, like a planet, a, a celestial body. I the Messier object, this. M69, yep. is a magnitude nine globular cluster in the constellation Sagittarius. Oh, that was with better reading. Because you need the words. <laughs> Girl, are you planetary? Because Uranus. All right. I'm a Sagittarius guy, so does that mean that I am You're M69? M69. Nice. Oh, wow. um, and some quick famous 69-year-olds, Oprah, Jackie Chan, John Travolta, Hulk Hogan, Ron Howard, and Seinfeld. Do you reckon any two of that them was, have 69? That I was too Chan fast. was 69. They sound decades apart. 
I would really? have said um John Travolta <laughs> is what the oldest, like twenty years younger than Jackie Chan. I thought Jackie Chan what? was ancient. No, I thought the no, I thought Jackie he was Chan's young and freaking flipping around. Yeah, he's still pretty. And where's good. Oprah fit into this? She's all. They're all the same age. Yeah. So there's no. There's, that's the <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I had no. I, I got that part. So, so he's like, where does Oprah fit? Is she the six or the nine here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did understand that. That's that's it's cool. kind of interesting. Anymore? Any more famous 69 There was, but I didn't really know them, so I just wrote down the ones that famous. What was the last one? Seinfeld. As oh, wow. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Be 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 food, so there you go. There's some 69 facts. And just a little bit more housekeeping. Here's Zach's quote from last week. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, I actually so don't know what this anyone is. Anyone who has or doesn't remember or hasn't seen it, Zach had a quote that was... Perhaps the worst thing ever. <laughs> and what was he, I, I was trying to talk about- You're talking about, about art. If your art, art is subjectively oh, good yeah. or objectively and good. And so Zach, he tried to sum it up. He did one of those things he's like, so, and then he launched into it and just listened to what he actually said. Yeah, but what doesn't appear in the quote is Jackson and Peter both talking over me. No, this was your doing. I, it started it as my doing, you, but then you guys you started a laughing. Defense, but I don't know. Jordan, what do you think about this quote? You can quote me on this. Art is I art is harder to be objectively good than objectively bad. No, 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 no. It's easier to be object. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, this is he he. This is um. <laughs> quote me. Uh, um, it's harder to be objectively bad than to be object. No, it's harder to be object. It's harder to be. It's harder to be objectively bad than to be objectively good. Final answer, Zach. <laughs> it's harder. And I stand by it, bitches. <laughs> I'll quote that till the day I do die. Want, do you want to explain your quote? I think it explains itself, yeah. Jackson. Jordan I think seems it, confused. The beauty of a good uh, quote is that you don't opposite. need to explain it. Yeah, that's not a good quote. <laughs> it's like uh, every good song. You got to build to something. You know, there's there was a strong intro <laughs> where I had a strong opinion. Quickly changed it. That's what we call, you know, a bit of a plot twist. Yep. Oh. And then there was a bunch of filler, like a kid's animated movie that has like a you know, $5 budget. Yeah. So lots of filler, <laughs> lots of ums. But we finished strong with an actual quote. And the final answer is my favourite part, yeah. maybe, of the whole quote. Final answer, lock it That's in. That's like the credits. Wow. That was yeah. amazing. So there you go. There's my housekeeping and my 69 facts. Thanks for getting started. Some 69 facts, yeah. Jackson. What a good intro to the pod. <clears throat> mm. I thought we'd make it non sexual, but it was too hard for me to get in before we were there. <laughs> <laughs> we really, yeah, we didn't do a good job of that. I try my best, guys. Um, Should we talk about kick? Because then that's kind it. of relevant. Yeah. Yes. And then that's what podcasts do. What? Well, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sound like you're a fucking alien this week. Yeah, this is like a chat <laughs> GPT answer. <laughs> that is what podcasts do, so that is what we will do. Well, I miss I'm here of my own free will. Mood. I'm out of the potty mood. Me, Poppet the human, the <laughs> podcaster man. I, it is I. Time to talk about relevant material. Kick. I, I am Poppet 1 up on the spaceship. We have Poppets 2 through 5,000 ready for the invasion. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Um, yeah, did anyone see that? Kick. Oh my god! <laughs> Jordan, I, have you ever had a conversation before? <laughs> no, I actually did. <laughs> have you seen it? That's yeah, what people I did. say. Yes. XQC. On XQC kick. got a. Do you know this? No. He's okay. He got for two year contract. Guess how much oh, money yeah. he got from like Kick? A contract. Just, so XQC, biggest streamer what on Twitch. What is Kick? Kick is now a rival platform to Twitch. Pretty, very similar. Right. XQC biggest gets well, like 60,000, 70,000. Can I say it's not very similar? There's there's a few big differences. It's oh, very similar in terms of platform. interface. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like one big difference is you get 95% of the revenue share. Yeah. As is opposed to Twitch is 50 50. Oh, it's 95 shit. 5. That's very different. Also, the moderation is somewhat lacking. <laughs> yeah. So you can stream I'll, anything, really. Well, yes. people do a lot of gambling streams. People do a lot of... Uh, I will say XQC. I, I tuned into his stream and he was just watching The Dark Knight. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> on, That's on pretty kick. sick. And also, I think some of the more problematic streamers go there and then do well, like... they're probably not banned or something. Yeah, if they're going to do their fucking hate speech or that. Right. You know? So you're heading over there, Jordan, to be with your crew. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guess how much his contract was to move over to kick. Oh, um, also, just a little, zero little, idea. little bonus. It's a non-exclusive contract. Yeah. If he fulfills his hours on kick, he could still stream on he Twitch. Wa he literally was streaming on Twitch the next day. Yeah. <laughs> of the contract. So he'll have an hours that I don't know, I don't know yeah. if it's specified. So he has to do X amount of hours on yeah. kick, but he can still stream anywhere he wants. Oh my God. His life is crazy. He got $100 million for two years. No, he didn't. Yeah. Which yeah. is more than LeBron James' <laughs> two-year contract, and he's the highest paid NBA player. 
Isn't he the highest paid athlete? Mm. Oh no, maybe probably. Well, it'd be XGC no. now. He nah, is the yeah. football. <laughs> <laughs> football players yeah, football would. Uh, football football get might be getting football. more. Basketball is pretty high per player though, because there's only like five people on the court. So their their numbers actually wow. super high. But yeah, wait, so, there's only five people on the court. Yeah, oh, a, a team, so ten. Oh, but football is like I don't know <laughs> who gets 12? three and who eleven. Gets two? <laughs> eleven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine basketball, there's just one player running a muck and there's like, we can't mark him. We've only got two players. Then one player, he plays for both teams. Yeah, he's, 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 he's just offense. A, yeah. He's just the guy that's best at dunking. They've made it an entertainment sport. Dude. So he just runs around that? fucking dunking all the time. That's a good strat because then the offense is always more OP. Because who cares about defense? Exactly. Great block. They should no always have more shit. offense. Yeah, take out defense and add in the dunker. The role is just it'd for be, dunking. It, it'd instantly open open itself up to match fixing right though oh yes yes definitely like that person misses a shot and everyone's like he's just Hang throwing on. for that yeah. team yeah. and all this stuff so it probably doesn't work can't anyway. miss he's eight feet tall and all he does is dunk True. this guy sounds sick <laughs> anyway i fixed kick. basketball <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right. anyway yeah anyway so xqc is bowling out of control so then jordan Gets inspiration yesterday, titles his YouTube stream, My Last YouTube Stream? <laughs> right. that I saw that. I wondered what that and was then, about. I, because I'd already talked to Jordan. Question, I'd already talked to Jordan about this, so I knew why. And I joined at the start of his stream, and everyone's like, No, don't stop. <laughs> don't leave. No. And I'm like, You guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> Cool. You've, You've got them by the balls, yeah. Jordan. They're fucking desperate for wheel spinning content. I know. That, well, that's why I was thinking about separating my Smash Bros YouTube channel and my wheel spinning content. Because if anyone likes wheel spinning and they go to subscribe, they're like, what the fuck is all this Smash? So, oh, so you do you find you get a lot of unique viewers just for the wheel no, spinning? No, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No, but I feel... But, but then, do I, you think you'll be more discoverable on Kick? Because I would... I mean, YouTube no, streaming not. doesn't really lend itself to growth. Uh, neither does Twitch streaming. Oh, I don't know if Kick streaming does. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, none, of them do. none of them do, but Kick might because it's new. Streaming so. seems hard to grow. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could still push people to it from my channel, but I'm just saying as a separate, they don't relate so really have you done anymore. A, have you done a Kick stream? No, I was thinking about just trying it. You can also do a multi-streaming I found out about where you can just stream to both at the same time. What? Yeah. Which is illegal to do on Twitch, but it's not illegal to do on YouTube. So or you could kick it. YouTube. Yeah, you can just stream to both Jordan, at the same what time. What about your hundred million dollar exclusive <coughs> YouTube contract? Yeah, have you oh. got one of those? <laughs> nah. I, well, if I do multi, then they're kind of <laughs> yeah, you got bang against yeah, each other. Yeah, they both gonna want me. Yeah, pressure them into giving me <laughs> the contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they'll be frightened, yeah. and then I'll get the hundred mil. But yeah, it was so <laughs> funny because yeah, XQC I see like hundred million dollar contract. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, let's check this out. And he's just streaming on Twitch still. So like, what the fuck? And then he, eventually, I think he's doing a thing where he streams a bit on Twitch and then he's like, all right, I'm going to kick now, everyone. Uh, so they all follow smart. him. Smart. And then he was just completely watching the full Dark Knight movie. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, Kick <laughs> sent in their moderator team so he didn't get <laughs> memed on that. They actually had to intervene. Wait, did they? Yeah. Oh, That'd okay. be probably the one thing Before that they that, can't he was control. Watching Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> He was watching Hell's Kitchen. Like streamers suck, man. Like, because the, the people the, to be the best streamer, you need to be streaming like thirteen hours a day. Yeah, and to do your so uh, like your original shit that whole time, like nobody can do that. It's impossible. Yeah. And so it's just like fuck it. I'm watching Gordon Ramsay. Like I don't give a fuck. It's actually like to grow, you need to be so like unique and new, and honestly, not even on Twitch. You got to post that shit to YouTube. Yeah. And then once you're at the top. It's, it's like the you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. Because <laughs> only the top 10 streamers can just sit there and like watch shit all day. But then everyone looks at the top 10 streamers and then they're like, oh, man, everyone just sits there watching stuff yeah, all day. This yeah. is the easiest job in the world. Yeah, it's a bit of a rich I'm going to do it. And then they fucking suck. Yeah. Also, like, streaming is just harder than everyone thinks. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so tiring. Like, oh, to I do a 13 hour stream, it's exhausting. Yeah. It's, it's like... I don't even know how to describe it because you are sitting there playing games and talking to people, but just to like know you're on camera and like thinking about everything you're saying is so yeah. hard. Being on is hard. I, I didn't really appreciate that until we did this. Like I leave doing recording from this and I'm exhausted. 
Yeah. And we just play games, but it's time. Yeah, my yeah, streams we... are like three hours and then I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> and we have like I a do. nice lunch break and we hang yeah, out yeah, a bit yeah. and we have a bit of breaks. So the stream is just always on. It's yeah. like worse. It's so much worse. 100%. I usually get a headache after. I think yeah. that's because of my lights though. I get dry as <laughs> fuck lips. My lips are so dry from talking for that long. Oh, it's so wow. bad. Yeah, I, I need that. lip balm on, on deck at all times. You got lip balm on the table? Uh, no, but I have one in the bedroom. But I need to... Uh, no, come on, guys. I know 69. it's episode 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> you just put it on before bed when you go to sleep. To sleep. It's really funny you're about to have sex. You're like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of dry. <laughs> Babe, you want poor, poor, or? <laughs> um, so, XQC, he's out of here. And yeah, then the Amaranth next day, Amaranth also now. got a contract yeah. for Kick as well. So. Oh. Amaranth? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, it's like a, oh, well, a she's, streamer. Is she the one that was going crazy, doing a lot of streaming? Yeah, that's How's all that of them, probably. That's all she of them. does stream a lot as well. Oh, and wasn't uh, she like the most in history or something? Or did I make that up? Yeah, no, she streamed heaps and heaps. But then I I actually haven't seen how much she's been streaming since the whole thing came out. She had a very abusive husband oh, that was like that's right. almost, yeah. all. almost forcing Behind her to yeah. you know, make sort of content. that style content. Yeah. yeah. But they both if you I scroll through XQC's past broadcasts and they're like twenty hours, twenty one hours, fifteen hours streams, like constantly. He has he has like sleep problems as well uh, so you he would just, just wake up and like hit start streaming that's yeah. crazy it's like yeah. his yeah, entire yeah, life stop. it is it's like a so it's so bad but uh the reason that kick has the money to do these contracts even though it's starting is because it's owned by Stake, yeah like a gambling which company. is an online casino so oh. basically twitch uh banned these gambling streams because they thought it was kind of sending a bad message mm-hmm. so then the gambling websites that were profiting off people Streaming uh, it, streaming it yep. made their own platform and then are th- kind of throwing money at people and offering it this 95-5 split because that is not sustainable for a website. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Well, a $100 million dollar contract yeah, is fucking they're not, insane. They're not sustain- like, and, it's, un- it's crazy to think how much these mm. casinos and shit must make. Well, they're not that. paying moderators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. So, like, <laughs> they're saving quite a lot of costs yeah, there. Less staff. <laughs> what staff do you need to have? Let's say you set up the website and it's like you get all the, you pay for all the servers, you pay for the interface. Like, what else do you need to do if you, just, if you just don't give a shit what people do on there? They just yoinked Twitch's they interface. Twitches, yeah. Is it actually? Like, exactly. Yeah, there, some of the things, like, they I forgot to remove some of, like, the watermarks and shit that were said to Twitch <laughs> really early on. How is this website going to stay? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Twitch used to have a better revenue share, and then they're, like, slowly becoming worse and worse for the creator. Mm, like, Kick, stay Kick could just do the same thing. What is... They stopped doing 95.5. Yeah. Once like, you get, like, in on that platform, and yeah. you have all the followers there, you're kind of stuck. I think we very much do underestimate, though, the, the, co- the server costs of Twitch. Like, 100%. I kind of understand yeah. why, because like we we use YouTube as just somewhere to dump our videos you know what I mean mm-hmm. it, like even for people who don't want views they like just want to share a video with a friend mm-hmm. yeah it's like yeah you're gonna you're gonna hold my I don't know two gigabyte video for the end of time yeah, forever <laughs> yeah. and we just take that for granted it's like man if everyone in the world does that like there's no servers in the world you I know wonder what I mean? how big it is all the servers it must be massive like they must, must have warehouses gigs. somewhere right yeah, I, gigs. I was just telling you guys before about um an old video of mine on like an old, not even on the little z channel on an old channel 14 years ago and i was like oh i'm so glad this is still here like i'm gonna use it in an upcoming video for my channel yeah. and if you tried to find one of your hard drives from 14 years ago good fucking luck you know yeah, what I mean? they, yeah. they've kept onto it better than i ever could oh, i was yeah. like you saw my white and nerdy yeah, white video nerdy. that i posted because that w- i met with my old friend from primary school and he still had that on his youtube yeah. channel it was like a we made like some music video yeah, for I, a school I, project i saw it it yeah. was something <laughs> wait that. you made white and nerdy yeah, the song. Yeah, I, I invented it. No, that's Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you just performed it. <laughs> no, okay, I couldn't think of who made it originally. <laughs> and I was like, was Jordan behind that video yeah, from yeah. the start? Year five, I created <laughs> no, Jordan, it. They did a music video for it, not okay. like a Yeah, cover. in our primary school, we had like a Battle of the Band thing. And so we like made a music video to whiten the... <laughs> oh, that would have been easy. You could have just filmed you for like three uh, minutes. That's what we did. <laughs> you, <laughs> you must have correct. seen it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, because it was just still up on YouTube. Yeah, so right. I was like, oh cool, I'll take that. But yeah, it's it's a bit of a sus one, the whole changing over to Kick, because like you know that the the revenue share is only possible because of people getting sucked into the gambling from it being on be Kick. So much money! It's oh, crazy. it's a massive business. It's insane. Well, I know that a lot of the streamers get huge because before they banned it, XQC and train wrecks and stuff, they were like spamming like casino gameplay like well yeah they would get given like let's say a million dollar by the 
people to use on their website and whatever they won, they got to keep. Yeah. But, and if they lost it all, they don't care because it was just an allowance given to them. Wow. I think it was even Which more gave, than that. Like they're getting like two was, mil a month or ridiculous. something. And then the people would watch it and be like, oh, wow, look, they're winning. They're so happy. That's like, yeah, because if they lose, it's not even their money. Even but if they like, win, it is their money. Oh, so it's get so that? stupid. <laughs> yeah. That sounds pretty good. Pretty OP. Yeah. Start yeah. streaming Jackson. Where and when's the first Jackson stream? Yeah, soon. Kick. <laughs> Kick, yeah, a kick, and I'll do that gambling thing. They yeah. send me that million dollars. <laughs> it will be it's pretty good. It must, yeah, a crazy amount of money. Send them a kindly worded email. Yeah, with some of your so strengths, fun. and then maybe they'll just shoot your shot, man. Oh, they excuse might. Excuse me, I have forty thousand subs on YouTube. I'm ready to make the mill. It's not bad. Yeah, better than most streamers. Number. I always forget that it's. Actually Don't say okay. that. Say you're revolutionising the genre of YouTube comedy and gambling. In yeah. the future, we'll say that it should be your ad to be picked up for a contract because that would actually be relevant. Man, and pretty funny. Yeah, okay, I might do that. You're just like we'll get onto that pick me. I love gambling, <laughs> and then it shows you like in a gutter with no money, yeah, crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows nah, a shot of your wife leaving you, and you're just like, I'm the number one gambler in my gambling. house. And then nah. your kids are like, Dad, where's dinner? They won't pick me up if I do that. It's gonna. I be- reckon. I reckon you do. You do actually gamble. But you're like, I love gambling. And then it's like, you playing Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> Uno. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm going to risk it all. And it's like a board game. <laughs> Cluedo. Yeah. What I recently found out that it's called Uno because it's like Spain. It's like Spain. Like, was the game made in Spain? Yeah. Like, what's it? Uno. Dos, Why do you? Three. Spanish? Yeah, Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. How come the numbers are still one, two, three, four? Or do they use the same symbols for numbers? I think they do. Oh, English as well. Yeah, doesn't everyone? Yeah, uh, the no, alphabet. Japanese does. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What At Germans? least I was just thinking about Germans. That's it. Yeah. Well, everyone, ge- everyone that's not <laughs> well, that's speaking the English is speaking German. German. Germans, it's Italian, cool. French, pretty right. much everywhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the same numbers. It's the only language Jordan knows, so it's the only language that exists. <laughs> yeah, so I tried uh, to learn Japanese. English. I forgot English. Oh. So oh, unless we download another one onto his alien fucking chipset. Yeah. Should we talk about that? Because people like to talk about that. What? Aliens? No, don't worry. Aliens. What? Should we talk about aliens? What are we talking about? Do you guys think aliens exist? I wouldn't know. Great. What do you think, Jordan? I didn't say, what do you know? Think, it's an opinion. don't think about it, because who knows? Then think about it! Try. How are you supposed to guess? What? I think they're out there somewhere. You've never had a conversation before, have you? Fine. Yeah, maybe. Great. What's that based on? This podcast flowed so much better last week without Jordan. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a roadblock. (laughs) We yeah, but you get can't get bogged down. That's the truth. Peter asks a simple question like, do aliens exist? And we get bogged down with Jordan saying, Peter, I don't know. Peter fell for it. You can't fall for it. You just say, okay. It's just unbelievable that you're just like, what do I, you stop and think, Jordan. No. Yeah, but what are you going to think about? You try and use the information around you nah. to make your best judgment. I think Jordan's got a pretty good... Yeah, uh, it's just for... You, okay. There's no correct answer, I'm going to say Jordan. yes. Good. And what led you to that? Ah, uh, there's lots of space. Wow. Yeah. That's, a fi- that's what you could have said the first time. <laughs> okay. That's good, Jordan. Well done. Yeah, fair that's enough. a very good answer. See, when he Thanks. says Uno is Spain, you just got to move on, <laughs> I sorry. actually really like that, that Uno being Spanish. Yeah, because in Australia, Americans don't have this problem. But in Australia, it's like, is it you know or Uno? But Americans are all like, it's I don't think Uno. anyone says that. I do. You know. Did, did, did no one <laughs> that go up? sounds... I oh. didn't know. My family just didn't know then. Well, you said you know. Yeah, we didn't know. You know. Well, we didn't know, but you know. <laughs> You don't know. You so know. wait, you know? It's I know, Uno? know oh. but see, this was the thing everyone used to say. Peter, take a break. Peter, take, take a time. Up. Take a time. My Sip your family coffee. grew up saying, is it you know? Or is it Uno? You know? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Did, any other words that you pronounce like that? You're like, is it umbrella or yumbrella? Yeah. <laughs> nah, none that I can think of right now. Really? How are you going, Peter? Peter, just leave Peter <laughs> out of it. He's, your, he's your roadblock now. You <laughs> have to ignore him. Peter, do you want to rejoin the Yunderdogs podcast? <laughs> Yunderdogs. <laughs> Any Yunder word dogs. starting with y- you is now a ya. This is episode 69 over here. That's an E, Jess. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. In my house, we grew up saying, is it episode or episode? Yasin yada yit ya yin yada yin yi yona yi yi. In um, in Jordan's defense, <laughs> yep. is it a unicorn or a unicorn? unicorn. <laughs> Surely it should be an unicorn because it's based off Uno. <laughs> yeah, it's got one yeah, horn. True. Unicorn. It's a, it's Wait, a, is that why they call it's it? It's not that? Unicycle. It might be. Yeah, it's a uni. It's a uni. Oh shit. Horn. Horn. <laughs> Uno horn. University. Unicycle. Wait, yeah, uni. I'm wrong. 
Who in it? You're not who wrong. Why are you, you wrong? wrong? Yeah, I'm not right in every situation, I suppose. Yeah. Ah. Might as well be wrong for what me. What are your guys' thoughts on aliens then? Um, I think there's aliens, but I, I'm pretty scared of space. <laughs> you said that like you were pretty scared of space. I'm so scared of space. It's a breathy sentence. Yeah. I guess that what problem part is anyone scariest? we find, we're in trouble. Huh? If anyone finds us, we're in trouble. Yeah, that scares me. Because we would kill anything. What's, What's the out? scariest part of space? Well, that is definitely the scariest part, that there could be anything out there. We don't know. Anything. I've got a, I've got a segue for this one. Go on. Uh, I was thinking about this, and if there's like an inte- a super intelligent thing, you know the whole thing about like yep. they wouldn't care about destroying us. Yep. I had I had a great example of this when I was out camping Ooh. last week. Let's when go. wait in a tent? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, not in a tiny house. I'm I'm not that rich. It was yeah. pretty intense, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And the sixty nine was fucking intense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, we, we're putting firewood on the on the fire, and there's just like an ant's nest in this log, and you still fucking put it in. You know what I mean? Like it's like there's, <laughs> Did you? there's a few ants on it, and we put it in the fire because we need to use it as fuel. Yep, that's how a super intelligent any race would treat the earth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like they're on like a level above us, like we're a level above ants. Yep. So and they're then, adding the they're earth just nice. to a really big fire. Well, they're just like we need the resources. Oh, there's ants on it. Humans. Maybe their planet's nicer. No. Earth is just fucked. We reckon they're nicer than humans. Well, they could be. How you know? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe it, it, to become, maybe Earth just copped it though. They'd have to have like extreme empathy to become the dominant race on your planet or like dominant species. It, you don't really get that. Like nice guys finish last. But what if it's just a bunch of creatures come over together? And you, they're all nice. Or they're all holding hands and singing yeah, and dancing yeah, yeah. and they come on Earth Noah's Ark. Fucked. <laughs> Earth is just every animal wants to kill every other There's animal. There's a reason for Thank that. Thank God we got sport because then we don't need to kill each other because we're just like, yeah. Fuck UFC. You. Fuck you. Or like basketball. Like, yeah, fuck you. You're from there. Yeah. Well, isn't it funny that we've replaced war with sport? Yeah, I love... Yeah, I was I thinking mean, about this. I okay. think I talked about this on the pod already. I was going to say that Jordan was wrong, but you know, they also had sport way before war. And there's still war going what? on. Yeah, right? and there's still about. war. No, That's not like, like there's less I was going to say there's still war to Jordan, <laughs> Guys, and then you said we replaced <laughs> it with less. sport. No, 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 no. You, you, we were like in the back... Of the, uh, war might not be the right word. I mean, like fighting between your tribes and shit. Because oh, right. in the ancient yeah. past, you would have had to do that on like a fucking monthly basis. Basis. And so now, like, it's like ingrained, of, yeah. Because you know how people like we do, we do sport as kids instead of play fighting, and you'd play fight as training for wow fighting battles. Mm. And so we kind of re- replace this with sport, and it's like the outlet. Just that the is same just like, bit that's in you that wants to win a sport. It only ex- like before sport exists, it was only there to just beat other people. What yeah. if the <laughs> what if the sport is fighting? Well, yeah. yeah, that's why it's well, pretty that's fun. Like, well, then, then we're still fighting between clans. It's just disguised as UFC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah but at least there's a ref. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, stop there, stop there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. came all the way back to square one, but now there's just a ref. Yeah. Soon we're going to have like each suburb fucking we fighting each other ref. in the clan. The ref was handy. Imagine a ref is like, they're about to drop the atomic bomb. They're like, don't know. Yeah, that's the Geneva Convention. That's too far. Yeah, right. What's Maybe that? we need a ref oh. for lots of situations. Like imagine if- Like we'll- conversation like- You've been talking too long. Yeah, no yeah. one cares about your story from yeah. when you went to Alaska. Yeah. Next person. Next person. I like that. Yeah. Where they could just draw the. Why do they draw the line there in the Geneva Convention? They could have drawn it way. What is the Geneva Convention? It's, it's like, like you're not what, allowed to use chemical what weapons. What is a war crime and what is not a war oh, crime? Oh, okay. Why do they keep in? Yeah, bullets? they could have just said like guns are past the line. Yeah. And then no one has guns and we're all good. They're just like only. Or would you oh rather God. go to war? Everyone running at each other with bayonets again? I think. No, just boxing. Yeah, less people would rest. die. They should make the Geneva Convention. Everyone has to wear gloves, and for every person, there's a ref. You know, who and we get Switzerland to do that because they're the neutral ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so they just all become refs. Jordan, you should let them know. You should email Geneva. And let should. them know. Who's at, Geneva? At Geneva. At Geneva. What up? What's Geneva's last name? Convention. Convention. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that <laughs> one. My bad. <laughs> Thank but you, yeah. Geneva Convention. Why do they keep but in tanks and everything? No, yeah, I, I think don't I think it had to get to a point bad enough where the Geneva Convention had to be made in the first place. <laughs> but isn't getting shot in the head a bit bad? It's not as bad as dying slowly. Well, what if someone mm. was like in mm. a village that was about to be raided by Genghis Khan and his Mongols, and they were like made the Geneva Convention, and they're like, I don't think we should do this. Like, what no if they just said no invading? That would be good. Yeah, no one would like give a shit back in the day, but then now that it's gotten to a point that's like really bad, like fucking atomic bombs, they were like, oh, hold up, we can't keep getting worse and worse than this. I yeah. assume the people who were 
got sexed on by the Mongols kid. What? I tried to not say the R word. Oh. Okay. Oh, yep. yeah. They would have cared. That's a bit slow. No, I'm what saying, I'm saying, I'm slow. saying everyone would have cared about. Well, it might have been fast. Jordan, I'm saying everyone would have cared. Everyone would have been like, oh, I really hope we don't all get killed by Genghis Khan. Yeah. But they couldn't do anything about it. But oh. then once it's like got to a point where everyone had guns and everyone was really bad. Everyone I don't know shit about this, by the way, guys. You're listening to a comedy podcast. I get you. I get you. I'm just like, I'm just literally improvising this whole thing. It's actually, it's thing. not a bad question of how do you draw the line, but then... I guess, yeah, it's really... I don't even know. I think it had to get bad enough for us to want to draw the line. Yeah, that definitely seems correct. And also, now that we have, like, it's phones and stuff, it's like, uh, we may have drawn the line earlier if people all over the world knew what was happening in other places. They would have mm. been like, oh, shit, that's that's messed up. Here's my one. We, How the hell is owning atomic bombs allowed? That shit's fucked. Well, I think we just made so many before it was banned. Yeah, I know, but get rid of them. Like, and people are like, mm, no, no it's, but I need them for my security. If I get rid of them, then Russia yeah, will I have know, them and we like, won't. Yeah, the whole thing, it's like, right? we're like, oh, we in, in the Geneva Convention, we don't allow indiscriminate fire. A weapon that will kill no matter anyone, even if they're not a soldier. By the way, this bomb could kill an entire city. Yeah. And we have a thousand of them. And it's like, oh, yeah. okay, cool. Good one, America. How do you get rid of them? Do they blow up when you... Like, can you, you can dispose disarm of them? them. Yeah, you can disarm disarm them. God, you Spill wouldn't want to be the person it. in charge of that. What if you no, cut actually, the wrong wire? It's actually pretty pretty hard to detonate a <laughs> nuclear bomb. Oh. I don't think it's a That's wire good. situation. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, what if you set one off and then you're in the silo with the other thousand? That's pretty bad. Oh, that would be a big one. You would be fired for sure. Well, you'll be... <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you'll be... fired by the bomb. <laughs> who's going to who's gonna fire you? They'll all be dead, too. True. Oh, li- uh, life hack. Yeah, kill everyone. Don't get fired. Die. <laughs> what anyway. else did you learn camping? <laughs> I learned that camping is actually just an excuse to cope extremely hard. Cope with who? Yourself and your your life choices and everything. It's very funny. Okay, so this is my first time. You learned this or you learned that your opinion is now this? No, 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 no. This is actually a good opinion. Just <laughs> let it cook. Okay. Let it cook. You might uh, offend all campers. No, no, no. I, I, th- that's why it's good. Okay. Is because you just are, are allowed to just like be shit at everything. And it's, it's, that's, that's how it is. You know, it's like, okay, here's an example. I'm cooking on a barbecue. Yeah. The barbecue is a bit dirty. It's, you know, it's like everything's kind of black on the outside and raw on the inside. I don't have a lot of fry pans and ovens and shit. I can't do everything perfectly. So I just do it and it's good enough and that's it. Yeah. yeah. And I can just relax because nobody's going to be like, oh, you should have done it this way. It's like, no, Who you cares? just fucking did it. What's and the opposite what of perfectionism? Is. Yeah, it's just laziness, right? It's like... Well, not not, not laziness, but like content with it not being perfect. Yeah, it's, what it's, it's, I think that the, the appeal of camping that I got, which I haven't really got before, is the ability to let loose. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what it is. And it's just like, you know what? I am cold. I, who fucking cares? It's <laughs> like, I'm going to sit next to this fire and I'm going to deal with it because what else am I going to do? You know, complain about it? Doesn't matter. Um, did you have a good time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, <laughs> it doesn't sound like I did. it at all. So no, wait, no, it did, sounds like tell, you... tell everyone where you went. Relax. Uh, I just went to, it was like on a farm uh, in someone's paddock with the, South, with the, north? With the sheep. Oh, South. You, you okay. broke in? Yeah, it was very wet. It was raining all the time. Yeah, it yeah was for a bit cold. of Perth geography. We kind of live where it's, for, well, for us in the middle, but I feel like it is pretty in the middle weather. Like yeah. it's a bit hot, bit sunny. You go yeah. down south, Temperate. it becomes more foresty, rainy. Mm-hmm. Like. But it is winter right now as well for those that can't understand. It's like the wettest hemispheres. month of like the year. Yeah. And it was, it's just been so wet. I and swear, uh, whenever I say like, oh, streaming this time, someone's like, it's not that time. Oh, it's like, God. <laughs> Got <'em. laughs> you heard of time zones. Now let me give you hemispheres. <laughs> it's a, a different season here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> We're in such upside down world. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a good time to be able to let loose and just be like, you know what? I'm not having a shower before bed. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Because there isn't a shower. So I'm not yeah. going to. It's just like, I don't give a fuck, man. It's, that sounds cool. It's just the ultimate, I don't care about anything. And that's pretty That's pretty enjoyable. <laughs> Would have been bad if you were like, you know what? I am having a shower before bed. And then you realize. Yeah, I said to Holly, because we watched the, the, the show alone, which I think I talked about, where they just have to survive in the forest. Yeah, yeah, you did. But I brought it up with Holly, but she wasn't keen. But what? maybe me and Peter can do it. Going camping. Yeah, but you got nothing. Yeah. Oh, we could totally do that for a do video. For a we talked about that, yeah. <laughs> you make a show do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. No. Kill a rabbit. You need to have so many survival skills that none of us have. You can Google. 
You yeah, but if, if it, you're going there, you have to know. How Jackson, if it's who lasts the longest and none of us know how long the others last, that's a better. You could just leave after five minutes, or you could be the sleeper pick to win. Did we all just and last tell each other? Did we all just leave after five minutes and let Jordan do it for like three days? And we <laughs> just <laughs> we go and check into a hotel. Jordan's like, I just had to drink my own piss. Couldn't find any fresh water. We could do the show alone between us, but. Because it won't last for sixty days; it'll be like sixty minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think and we should. Better video. We should do that, but we should we should put a prize that like we ever so slightly want on the line. But it's like not what? too much. It's not enough to kill ourselves. It's not though. the half, half a mil. It's like yeah, half a, a half a lemon. <laughs> half a lemon. <laughs> no, nah, what, what would be incentive <laughs> enough? Um, a voucher, like a like a really cool <laughs> bit of Pokemon merch for it's worth like five hundred bucks. I don't think Jackson wants. Yeah, that. No, no, I wouldn't want that. that. What about no, a deli? It's really it's really cool. What is it? No, Deli Chi Chi, I'm in. <laughs> it's really cool. Well, um, anyway. Like a Snorlax yeah. toilet. What were you talking about? I, I, the, the whole cabin. I did enjoy it a lot. And I think that it, it goes into the uh, stereotype of, you know how like the, the classic stereotype is like a bloke who just wants to get away from the miso and goes out with the boys and then go they fishing. drink beers and go fishing. And it doesn't matter if they don't catch anything. I don't think they camp. I think that's more of a cabin, you know? It can suppose. camp. Head up to the ca- depends. Do, how do much guys go have. away on fishing trips and then camp together? Like yeah. old yeah, guys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel, oh, I didn't know. Oh, they did when that. people get older, they're less likely to camp. But like young guys and stuff. I see it more as like um, just barely retired people. Nah, they would have a van. Yeah, they'd have a. Van I think you're for like sure. forty to. 50, like no, still fit enough 50 that you'll be right. Y- I think it's like fucking kids and their parents. That's surely the main. Like, if camping is going to advertise to anyone, target audience. Parents I think and a kids. lot of young couples camp could, before they have money. Yeah. Because mm. it's very cheap. Yeah. But anyway, my point is the stereotype of that kind of in my head mm. where you just do nothing, it's just because like it's the, the stereotype is they're getting held to a high standard by their like wife all the time. Sure. And they just get to get, escape that and just not give a fuck about anything. And I, I, I kind of understood that, although I was with my girlfriend and we just yeah. didn't give a fuck together mm-hmm. about Even anything. Better. Because we, we live with her mum, which is like... <laughs> having to adhere to a higher standard. Yeah, and sure. so we just went out and just didn't give a fuck. It was great. Yeah, that's cool. So Very yeah, I, I do see the appeal. I'm on board. I'm on board. Camping's just meditation, but people don't want to meditate. That's, yeah. That's my Ooh. opinion of it. Yeah. You probably 100%. could just stare at a wall and get the same vibe. Yeah, I feel like I but remember- But it's not as fun. And you probably wouldn't do it because yeah. it would suck. Because when you have all the distractions around you at home, you're just going to do that instead of doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, I, I appreciated that because Holly and I went away last week- mm to like a cabin thing down south as well where it's more rainy and foresty and I was like all right this is the time I'm just not even going to look at my phone yeah I put mine away while it's, it's gone. easier it it's like an easier reset yeah because you don't have as many distractions so then now that I've been back it's been way easier as well mm-hmm. but that was fun we went around to different towns and stuff although I noticed something go on there's lots of little country towns mm mm-hmm. mhm I don't know. Did you go to is this town? Is this down, down south? south? I, I went to like two on the way there. But not okay. Many. I went to a lot. Holly and I noticed go on. there is a Thai massage place in every town. Okay. And now I am very suspicious. Whoa. I didn't know so. There's literally... Like, has anyone been to one of these places? Every small town. They had like a shop. Uh, they always have a bakery. They a have bakery, a bakery. A bakery, yeah. a, bakery a general store. Like, a yeah. general store. The information one, center. <laughs> information center. Uh, not all. No, nah, these ones are too small. You know and what? I also massage. <laughs> all of them and a bar. Well, there's not a lot to do there, is there? They also all have one like specialty store, because mm-hmm. if like twenty yeah, little towns have one specialty store, then it's like, oh, I guess I do need to go to the hardware store yeah. in Dingabup. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And like the uh, cow town, Carum up. Were, yeah. Were the um, <laughs> were the lights flashing? Apparently, it's how you tell if it's a sex place. I think they were. Yeah. But I was so I was like. You've got nothing here, but you really want a massage. I think they Sorry, might what? ever so slightly more than that. Yeah, yeah. maybe Wait, more than massage. what do you mean nothing here that you want a massage? Can we go back to that? Well, it's like they don't have much going on, right? Well, it's like, yeah, why, yeah. In terms why of don't they have like a laser things. tag arena? Yeah, or a if basketball you've got, If you're going to have one thing that's fun, yeah. why is it going to be a massage? Well, it's about what people want to do. It's not like they ask people, what do we want? And then it's like, we want laser tag. All right, Jim, you're opening the laser tag place. <laughs> it's someone coming with the skills they have. And like, someone someone coming with the bright idea. Have. Like, no one in this town's they're all getting tense. massages. They're all tense. We need to sort that out. Yeah, you'd think that would be relaxed already because they're down south mm. in the camping yeah, vibes. It turns out they're mostly farmers and that shit's hard. Yeah, actually, farming's like the worst thing ever. 
don't think it's the worst thing ever. I've it's heard it looks very really bad. hard. It's like hours. What happens when 10. all the farmers quit? It's got to happen, right? Farming does suck. Um, Any farmers in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have my uncle so and much respect my uncle farmers. and auntie and grandma and papa own a farm. Yeah. And it like looks it. like it sucks. But in in my opinion, but I'm a city boy. You there's know, a lot of appeal to it. They they like don't want to move anywhere. They're loving loving it oh, on the God farm. That might exist. be the clue that they like it. Yeah, it's just it's just different worlds, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. But uh, in my but then the kids, you know, like the kids. You see, um, people like Fairbairn Films, Australian uh, YouTubers that grew up on a farm. They're not continuing the family farm. They're YouTubers now. Mm. Surely all the kids slowly leave the farm because they got the sign. internet. Yeah, AI. I was going to say, not many people go back to the farm. That's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Like True. a lot of people like move out and then like maybe be first generation, let's say like uni students, like, you know, the first in their family to do that. Uh, some of them get like agricultural science degrees and goes back, but I don't think a lot don't. Oh, see, my mum's side of the family, they're all farmers and they're wow. still all farmers. They like it? Yeah, they love but it. But do they have young kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all like my age and they've well, all started their own farm. I mean, my cousin Legends. is uh, still living on the farm. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Don't he's, he's at a time where I don't know what his plans are. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I think it's still going. People love it. I think some people do like it, but man, it does look really, like really hard work. Like, yeah, 100%. My Lord. So tough. You yeah. see where they have like the people who are like farmer strong. You're like, yeah. they're like twice as strong as a bodybuilder who's twice their size. Yeah, because they like, just actually have like fundamental strength like dude, through them. On, on the one I went to, there was like, it, they had it as like a decoration piece. It was like an old earth tilling machine. Brilliant. That was like you do by hand. It was like, it was like at least a hundred years old. It mm-hmm. was like ancient before tractors and stuff were invented. Yeah. And- you, it was like you pumped both arms, kind of like a what's that mission? An elliptical at the gym, yeah, almost. Yeah, except, yeah. except you sat on this thing, and there wasn't like a wheel on it. You just had to turn these three massive things on the back that just tilled like so much soil with every push. Holy and I was shit. like moving that much earth with every single thing for an entire <laughs> field. Yeah. I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, Farming looks hard. You built different. And like, cause so Sophie's granddad, he comes over for dinner at least once a week where, where he, we're, we're, he just like, he, he has the opinion of like, oh, you guys don't know what it's like to do hard work. Cause he yeah. grew up on a farm. Yeah. And then looking at this machine, I'm like, man, if you were using anything like this, <laughs> holy fuck. I think he's probably had tractors and shit. It's probably before his time, but yeah. I see where that mentality would come from. It's just different. I, when Paul, you don't know how Hard work. It's like you couldn't sit in front of a screen for nine hours. A yeah, day. it's just different. <laughs> like it's all mental work. <laughs> but like the farm, the farm. No, it's is just hard. different kinds of work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not taking away from farmers at all. But it's when people are like, oh, you don't know hard work. It's like I don't know if yeah. you can do streaming. mentally. It could be easier. Yeah, in a weird way. Yeah. No offense to farmers, I do respect their hard work, but they must be some of the like. Most on their high horse, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah. willing really? to change. No, it's I like a lot old. of farmers are very humble for the hard work Surely. they do. Well, well, not the person Jackson. Was These farmers about. think they're better than us with their wheat <laughs> no. and their cows and their no, dirty but it's fields. Like, you know how it's like, it's oh, you farmers, couldn't, though. you couldn't do what I do. Yeah. If you worked in an office and you said to a farmer, like, you couldn't do what I do, they'd be like, it's just in my screen. Yeah. yeah. Even though they know nothing about potential like invoices or it's Excel like all and all deadlines, that. it just doesn't like different kinds of stress. Yeah, it's just it's very exist. different, yeah. but I feel like if you said to a farmer, like, you couldn't do what I do, yeah. they would be like, yes, I could. Oh, yeah. Whereas if a farmer said to me, you can't do what I do, I'd be like, no shit. Yeah. But I think that kind of Look falls into the thing of, um, I th- you know how in, in like comedy and stuff, you can't, you, you you can punch up, but you can't punch down. Yeah, right. It's the same thing. It's like, if they have a really hard job, they can be like, oh, that shit where you get paid more looks pretty easy. Whereas you can't be like, oh, you guys doing, you know, it's the whole like, I yeah, think good well, point mental there, Peter. stuff is more invisible than physical. Like yeah. farmer is like, the physical aspects is very obvious but the mental aspects of like a nine to five where you've got yeah. crazy deadlines and finance shit aren't as obvious yeah it's, yeah the episode of the office where they have the safety things for both upstairs and downstairs and downstairs the warehouse and they come upstairs and they start laughing at them because they've got to worry about like seasonal affective disorder oh, and yeah. stuff like that i think <laughs> it's just kind of what it is oh, i can't remember that it's just just different but yeah. it doesn't sound real yeah. Compared to like, oh, but I've got to move 10,000 tons That's of That's obvious. Dirt. It's it obvious. makes sense. Yeah. But I feel like the deadline of, or the modern day life of just like, you have a deadline every hour of the day is 
crazy. And then look at XQC. Show him to a farmer and be like, you couldn't do what I do. Yeah. I'm watching The Dark Knight. (laughs) And gambling a million dollars that was given to me. (laughs) The farmer would shoot himself on sight. (laughs) But I'd probably rather be a farmer. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I think they'd stream 21 hours a day. Yeah, if you got so paid crazy. the same yeah. amount, I'd probably take the farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, $100 million contract for two years of tilling soil with yeah. that big machine. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'd be slow as shit, but I'd get it done. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like everyone just thinks that about their job and is bad at appreciating that other jobs are hard too. It's like, oh, if you worked at Woolworths, it's like, okay. <laughs> uh, everyone has their job and everyone's job is hard. I think there's some jobs you can admit are pretty easy though. Yeah, definitely. But YouTube. they also come with their challenges. I feel like so many people would say YouTuber for that, though. Yeah, I think uh, it's they're harder than people think. I know, no, that's I, what you can say about anything. <laughs> to repeat what exactly yeah. what we were yeah. talking about. What's the easiest job? No. No, no, let's pick one and alienate anyone who yeah, does that. Yeah, yeah. Farmers. <laughs> no! <laughs> what do you do, pull a carrot out of the ground? Forget it. Actual easiest job. What about like a taste tester? Ice cream taste tester. That could be it. No, but then they got to have this the palate. How do you not get fat? That seems stressful as well. I've seen an ice cream taster in a video. Yeah, the he, guy doing the mouth thing. Yeah, he puts it in his mouth and he goes, <laughs> got to let it do they put the mic right next to his mouth? Yeah, they it? do. That's yeah. so good. It's, fr- it's a <laughs> funny then, video. I don't, I don't even know if he swallows. He probably swallows. 69 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, leave a, leave a comment with what you think the easiest job in the world is. What about condom tester? It's like porn, but you don't have to be filmed. Yeah. No, that's is hard. Is that a thing? A erectile dysfunction would be... You, it'd come for you Surely, real quick. Surely. Okay. You've you've come up with a new condom, yeah, maybe a new it. material. Right. you come up with one? <laughs> you're like, you're testing it on bananas. You're like stretching it. Then you're like, all right, we got to test it. On There's probably some you machine test that just tests sex. it per... Better than we could. Oh, I thought you meant like mean? the taste. It's I like, you meant this has been thrust. through 100,000 thrusts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And will last another 5 million thrusts. That's what they say on keyboards, right? It's just like, how many button presses are you going to get out yeah. of it? How many thrusts can you get out of the condom? <laughs> this condom's been through 100,000 thrusts. I'm like, oh, hope it lasts another three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I can't think of a job that I think is objectively very easy. Yeah, me either. That's what I'm saying. I think all jobs have their challenges. Easiest job... I've had was at the gaming lounge in Perth here. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of a lot of standing around waiting for gamers to get thirsty, and then they'd come and get a drink, and then that, it was mostly just it that was, has a challenge in its own right of not being bored and wanting. To, I don't know. It depends. Oh, actually, I had a really easy one one time that reminds me of I was just like getting door tickets for like a gymnastics competition thing, mm-hmm. and then you do nothing for the middle part, but you started to hang around and. Back yep. up. Yep. And so I, they were like, yeah, bring a book, bring lunch, just do whatever you just want in the mid- medium time. Yeah. So it was like That's pretty good. An, an hour of being busy, three hours of... I finished a whole book in one thing. That's sick. Whoa. And then just turn the lights off at the end and go home. What's that job up to? Can I get that job now? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're hating this, are you? Well, this no, I just this think being that, your current job, no, sitting here reading, on the ca- Reading a book and getting paid sounds good. You read a book then. We'll have a three-person podcast. You fuck. Can I do that? <laughs> no. Next episode, episode 70, I'm reading a book. Yeah, and then every time something interesting happens, you pop in for a little, little excerpt from the book. <laughs> it's like good. an audio book and podcast in yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about that idea? Yeah, just one crap. paragraph over the course of an hour. We'll have That's Jackson good. faintly reading out in the background yeah, like the can, entire <laughs> plot like an audio like book. This much audio of me reading the book out. <laughs> Do you and reckon then, we'll get to the point where that's the standard for podcasts? Kind of like people have the subway surfers videos for TikToks. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and yeah. then they'll just have like an audiobook going on the back of a podcast because everyone's attention span is going to be so fucking ruined in five years. Dude, Dude, I okay, thought the wait. subway things was a joke, but people actually like it. Let's, yeah, we yeah, should definitely. test it. I can't believe it. So Jackson, give us a bit of Harry Potter on, on, on a quiet setting and we will talk about... Something else. We can talk about camping a bit more. You All know? right. Because yeah. maybe this camping conversation is not that interesting, no, just, but Jackson, we'll have a philosopher's up. stone behind us. Did you do anything cool while camping? Uh, uh, no, we just honestly chilled out and I felt, I felt in around. touch with nature. That's good. That yeah. was like, I never understood. That's something people say, man, this is so distracting. I can't actually talk while Jack is talking right next to me. It's kind of a special one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tough. All right, I think, we, I think we hit. I don't think it works. Sp- I think our attention spans are still too intact. Ollivander, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I couldn't All think of I heard was it's kind of a special one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, feeling the feeling of being in touch with nature, because, okay, here's, here's one for you. Um, we're walking through the forest. 
Yeah. There's no one around. Yeah. I see a fucking eagle above me flying around looking for prey. Yeah. And yeah, I'm like, that's good. That thing is really fucking cool. Like yeah. that thing is so cool. Like you see how it's feathered so perfectly. It flaps maybe once every yeah. five minutes yeah. and just rides air currents up because it's like the master of the sky. Yeah. And I'm like, that is fucking cool. And yeah. I just I just watched an eagle for like 15 minutes. And I was like, I, I, I cannot draw my attention away from this thing because it's so cool. But do you I reckon mean, it's just cool because you haven't seen it? Yes. But the thing is, right, is that all these cultures, <laughs> all these cultures have like eagles on their like flags and... Oh, it's like, like a very why? popular animal. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. this is a universal human experience I'm having of thinking that this eagle is fucking cool. And yeah, it, 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 it yeah. like transcends culture and country and all this shit. And I'm just like, I feel in touch. This feels natural to think this eagle is cool. And I like that. Are there that any right. other animals on flags? Lions. People fucking oh, love lions. Yeah, lions. lions are pretty chill. Like, you know how like on every coat of arms in like France and England, there's a lion? Yeah. When's the last time you saw a lion in, a- in fucking England? The French? Yeah, who brought back that information? They used to be there hundreds of years ago and their range has shrunk since to Africa. Kill them all? Why did they used to be in England? They just, they used to be, all, lions used to be fucking everywhere. Why did they leave? They just, I don't know. Did humans <laughs> beat them up? They like the French cuisine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weather, gets again. <laughs> the weather in England was too rainy and they were like, Ugh. Surely humans just took them out. Probably. Because yeah. if but you see a lion, lion, you would want to kill it. With that said, yeah. Yeah. they're still on the flag and stuff. So people are like, that animal is fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? You see that shit? That's cool. That that yeah, you don't shit. see many like naked mole rats being exactly. on the flags, <laughs> do you? It's like the pigeon on the flag. You see a lot more pigeons mm. than you do eagles, but everyone's got an eagle on the flag. Yeah, that's and true. And me just admiring this eagle, I was like, this feels right. Yeah, we had a really cool <laughs> I'm moment. I'm a man. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm having, you, you know, people talk about hunter gatherers. Yeah. Yeah. But me and Sophie have this joke of just having gatherer moments and hunter moments where it's just like, because <laughs> you know how like, the, the, what does that mean? the joke is, is you know, the, the joke is you're like a caveman. The, yeah, no, but the joke is, is that the, like in the ancient past, and I know it's a theory that the like the men would do a lot of hunting and the women would have to do a lot of gathering. Yeah. So, you know, when you open the fridge and you can't fucking, it's like, where's the butter? Don't know. And then you, your mum comes in, your girlfriend comes in or whatever, and they're just like, oh, it's there. Because they have gatherer eyes. That's a gatherer moment. Oh. That's a gatherer moment. And then, you That's know, when you're like... True. It, I think it might be. And then if you see something move in the distance, you're like, look at that. That's hunter eyes because you saw something moving. Oh. You're not as good as picking out things. Girls and- couldn't do that shit. No, Holly has glasses. <laughs> <laughs> gatherer. Zach and I both have glasses. Yeah, I have glasses, Maybe but I still women. can't find anything. Oh, so <laughs> Like a little bitch boy gatherers. Oh, damn. But anyway. What are some other hunter moments? Oh, it was just... Like a- when you, you pounce on something and you're really good at it? Um... I think it's more just being fascinated by seeing something move against the grain in the distance. So, for example, Eagles. I was looking at this farm, what is which is where we're staying. In general, yeah, that could be a fighting is a moment. Actually, moment. guys, uh, I think I think this is a fact. We're better at sports, right? I mean, physically, like, biologically, yeah. 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 It depends on the sport, but most sports, yeah, gym. We have a, like stuff. Phys- physical physically, advantage. we're str- yeah, physical advantage. That's a good way of putting but it. In the most most cases, I mean, obviously, elite athlete f- women will. Demolish us, oh, yeah. but you know, <laughs> in terms of world records for men yeah, and yeah, women, yeah, yeah, for yeah. most most Especially average women mates. could demolish me, Peter. I'm not saying anything <laughs> about myself, and I want them to. Sixty nine. <laughs> Let's go. Not in that way. <laughs> anyway, like, so I was looking at the farm. I was having. I was. This was me being in touch with nature, just standing there, being like. Mm. So I'm looking at the farm. Love it's things. really windy, so all the trees are moving. Everything's moving, yet my eyes are just instantly drawn to this like one goose that's walking along because it's not moving with the thing. Because you want to fucking hunt and kill yeah, it. Yeah, because I want to, it's like something's moving against the grain, something's not. And everything's moving. And it's like, what in my brain thinks this thing is moving and is interesting? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like your eyes are just instantly drawn to it. And I was like, Hunting. do you reckon you could take that goose in a fight? Probably not. They're pretty scary. How many geese do you think you could take in a fight? Throwback. You said like nine or something. Ridiculous. Oh, I That was episode some. two of this podcast. Yeah. They're pretty big. Yeah. Any any Don't updated next, any updated goose fight numbers? How many goose you, geese? Four. Nah, I'm going. I think you above could take them 10. Out. I think the one tap potential is there, so maybe a good. Number. I think the High thing teams. is you're going to survive for a while. Yeah, yeah. They're not really going to kill you, and you if you clonked a bird in the head, it would just die. And 100%. you grab one by the neck, and it's a weapon. <laughs> is that going to be weaker than punching and kicking? Yeah, I feel like it might be. A little How soft about, goose. Because they're, they're quite light. They have hollow yeah. bones. But it might be better off kicking their body. Yeah, a kick would fuck up a goose. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah, I was, we were having <laughs> some hunt, hunter-gatherer moments. So I felt in tune with nature. 
Uh, so I wasn't hating on camping. I'm on board for camping. Mm, camping but it's great. like self-aware, everything is shit. So this is fun now. Underdogs camping. You got to bring it. You got to bring the vibes back though. That's yeah. That's a strat. Yeah. Did Hold- you? Yeah, the vibes don't Did come. I bring the vibes back? Yeah, yeah you got to bring the vibes back. Well, yeah, back. it was like, oh, I'm setting up the tent. This is so hard. It's raining. And then it's done. And you're like, fuck you. Yeah. Wait, you, it was raining while you set up the it tent? It was raining all the fucking time, Oh, I would have killed That's myself. That's so gangster. It was, it was, there was so rain. And our tent leaked in the night. And our air mattress leaked air. So, like, you woke up. You're on the floor. Yep. It's cold. The floor. It's For like sapping reason, your heat. so fun to me. That, that sounds awful. That's the thing. You awful. just don't give a fuck, dude. You just stop caring. I convinced her. Because we, we were camping. And then it started bucking down raining and i was like let's go for a walk and i convinced her to come it was what? great also yeah. we went up um bluff and all yeah that looks like, fun that looked awesome yeah. that's been on my bucket list it's for pretty it's pretty fun you've done it before right yes, jackson sir. so it's not the tallest point in wa but it's the most prominent mountain so like compared to the ground around it it's the tallest mountain does that yeah. make sense yeah um, so yeah, we did that. It was pretty. Did you do it for the sunrise? No, that's what you did though, mm. right? Yeah, I've heard that's good. Yeah, that's how good. was that? Great, excellent. You have to wake up at like two a.m. though. We got up at I think it was three. Yeah, it was yeah. early. We, we were staying at the caravan park. I don't know where you stayed, but we were right near it. Like oh, we were not right near like it. At the base. Of it, it was the, honestly, it was so epic going there because yeah. I've never. It's in the Sterling Ranges, which is a bunch of mountains that mm. are that big. And I just have never in my life actually seen a mountain. I've, I didn't realize, but yeah. it's like, we're going there and we're like, oh, we've never done a hike, but well, let's just commit. Let's mm-hmm. do it. And then you get to this point where you see the Sterling Ranges and there's all these fucking mountains. Like, yeah, I've never seen something that large, like in my life. And yeah. I was like, holy shit. And we'd like looked at each other like, this is fucking insane. We might, maybe we're climbing that one. Oh, maybe that one. I mean, we just thought all these mountains were the biggest mountains we had ever seen. So we're like, <laughs> it must be that one. And then we just keep going. And then it ends up being... <laughs> You're like, no that way. Is, that no is way. a That's certified every time. Holly and Jordan car ride. Yeah. Every time we were like, <laughs> it's that one. No, it's not. It's this one. And then we just kept going. And then it ends up being this mountain where the clouds are literally... We couldn't see the top of it. And we're yeah. like... It's fucking that one. And then we're like, we're so dead. Because we're, <laughs> we, we're not like athletes. You don't, don't have like we hiking hike. gear. We don't hike yeah. at all. How'd you go? Um, well, we just took... The good thing is like, there's no time limit. Yeah. So you can kind of just take... Like, we just had a few breaks and like the whole trip up took us like two hours. Because um, it's... Oh, that's think, not too bad. It's like a thousand kilometers. Oh, okay. You walked a thousand kilometers in two hours. Do you mean high? It's a thousand meters. <laughs> a kilometer. <laughs> it is a thousand meters. Is that it's right? It's like a thousand meters high. Dude, it's so funny that everyone right. who doesn't live in like a flat ass fuck place is just like, dude, my school's a thousand meters above my yeah. house. Like, yeah, you know, we, yeah. we, Perth is so mm, flat. You guys have to understand. Flat. So yeah, it was like a thousand meters. So well, for those, that's a bit of. Jordan, you've not relevance. been outside Australia, have you? I went to Bali Bali once when I was 11, but I can't remember much. I remember a water park. Well, when we go to Japan next year, the mountains there are going to fucking blow your mind. It's very mountainous. They're so high, they've got snow on them, bro. Uh, Bluff Knoll can, but yeah, not not, not often. Can in like Australia for snow, it's like it can snow. (laughs) Yeah. But But it was super epic making our way up as like... Um, it's also a bit of that danger feeling where it's like, well, I could just die here. Like you climb it up and then there's like, there's moments where if you took two steps that way, you would like just fall off and die. <laughs> you guys have both had like primitive human experiences this last week and have loved it. It's yeah, a good time. It feels right. Good. Yeah, it's great. Have, have you, have you right had a it. primitive human Well, when I was away in the tiny house, we kind of did a lot of uh, yeah. that kind of thing. Honestly, that's what jujitsu kind of feels like as well. Right. <laughs> it's those vibes of like, Primal man, experience. I would have just died then because yeah. this human killed me. Yeah. <laughs> There's something so just like, it feels it feels so right to just do natural things. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you're just yeah. like, man, like living in cities and shit, it's not what we want to do deep down. We you know what I mean? should become farmers. I think. No, hunter gatherers. Full circle. <laughs> hunter gatherers. I 69. I said we should get we've of done it, things. ladies and gentlemen. We've brought it all around. How does this relate back to 69? What Full circle. Full circle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Primal. Primal. Sex. What you're made to do. It is one of the things we're made to do. We've talked about farming, hunting, gathering, 60, climbing, 69ing. fighting, and sex. Nice. What's the last thing? Eating. 
Uh, part of 69. Yeah. <laughs> kind of included. <laughs> Come on, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, yeah, and then, anyways. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> what was I talking about? I can't say anyways anymore. Yeah, I, know, I, I can't, can't say anyways <laughs> anymore either. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? What but a yeah, classic. It was super epic. We got to this one point where we were above the wind, which didn't even make any sense. It's like, you can, there's... You, there was kind of like bushes on the mountainside and they were just getting pelted by this wind and then we're staring down looking at it and it's fine. <laughs> like, how are you fucking above? What's going on down there? We're above the wind right now. And it was just, yeah, it was just, it was epic. And it's like a good thing where I've learned recently, it's like, it's that's, you get serotonin mm. instead of dopamine. Serotonin is like not, like dopamine is like, oh, just the pleasure. Yeah. Serotonin is like when you're just like happy with yourself. Yeah. But you, like climbing a mountain, you don't really get that much dopamine. It's yeah. not like watching a YouTube video where you're like, boom, 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 boom. Dopamine know? is killing us. <laughs> Why don't we quote Jordan? That whole sentence was so <laughs> all over the place. Like my quote was last week. I bet you $100 it was better than your sentence. <laughs> nah, it, it was better than my sentence. But someone quote that whole thing about dopamine the difference and serotonin. Being that Jordan didn't go, all right, everyone, listen up, quote time. Yeah. yeah. Jordan made a point in the end. Yeah. But it is funny because it's like it, you get that feeling of accomplishment. But there's no there's no actual, like we're, we're getting to the top of the mountain. I'm like, I said to Holly, like, humans are funny, aren't we? Because there's no reason we need to go up here. <laughs> Doing it for the sake of it, yeah. Yeah, I was like, we could... There's no reason to go up any further because we're like struggling. Like, yeah. oh, my calves. And it's like, well. Yeah, there's no fucking <laughs> there's cheeseburger sitting on the top. I love how we get to the top and just go down. Yeah. <laughs> no, people, but, but they did have reasons because then you could see. You're like, where's the nearest watering hole? No, no, but like for us, like Holly yeah, and I. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's, that's your primal some, instinct. There's something about, I think it's like a conquering thing almost. Definitely. We, we have a lot of instincts built in and we try to ignore it all the time. You know what I mean? But then when you go onto these like experiences like that, they kind of kick in. Yeah, you're, not, yeah. you're not surrounded by the distractions of fucking TikTok. Like, so, you know, we're walking through the forest and then we kind of go off the trail a bit. We're like looking at different little like plants and mushrooms. Oh, wait, and shit can in I the just forest. pause? Apparently, the audio is clipping like Ooh. every second. Is anyone else having that? What? Does, or does that it mean? sound fine? Mine sounds okay. Mine sounds Mine fine. Mine sounds fine in my ears. But it yeah, might be should a live we stream? Should we? Yeah. We'll just I think it's second. almost about time to end the pod. Anyway. I want to hear the end of Peter's story. No, I'd, uh, I'm invested. We'll talk to the page. <laughs> that that was it I was it fine. It I think it's fine. It's I think fine? you have just okay, been trolled. Okay. All right. Sorry, I just um, thought just in case. Ocean Man and 111 hates your story, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> TJ Fitzy cut Sounds that. good. All right, thank you, guys. Out, yeah. Yeah. This so, will seamlessly go in. <laughs> I was walking through the forest and we're just looking at stuff. We're off the trail and then we kind of see a path and then we start making our way to it. And then Sophie just jumps onto like starts speeding up and goes straight to the path. And I was like, did you notice that you just jumped on a trail that was like an animal trail? It wasn't like a natural trail. Mm -hmm. And she jumped on like a very not established path, sped up, followed that path straight to the thing. And it's like, you didn't even, you weren't even aware you were doing that. Yeah. You just followed like, you, you know how to walk through a forest efficiently <laughs> using animal trails. Primal. And it's just like, Primal, she didn't even bro. realize she did it. And I was just like, bro, this is crazy. We just have instincts. Mr. Animal. Mr. Animal. We, we is... are animals and we, we pretend that we're not. We try to think we're not. And yeah. then when you get down to it, you are. This, this is, is what this good. episode's been about. Yeah, this is good. Cap it off, Peter. Give Speech us a Speech about lesson. animals and relate that back to 69. Um, I ain't ever <laughs> seen two chimpanzees 69ing. 